Today marks the second anniversary of the liberation of the Girad crossing, in the far south of the kingdom, by the Royal Armed Forces, in a precise operation under the instructions of King Mohammed VI, and carried out on the ground by members of the army, who were able to expel the Polisario militia in a short time. Morocco permanently closed the 10 kilometers with a security wall set up by members of the engineering unit of the Royal Armed Forces, with the aim of preventing any entry into the area in the future. The last time the presence of the front's elements in the buffer zones was detected coincided with the intervention of the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces in the Girat region on November 13, 2020 when the Polisario chose to retreat in light of the heightened surveillance and the concentration of the army in the desert. Today, there are intersecting readings regarding Morocco's attempt to recover the buffer zone east of the security wall, and to extend full sovereignty over it, and it is currently considered forbidden lands for the Polisario militia, by virtue of the absolute air control of the Royal Armed Forces aircraft. The expert on Sahara issues. Mustafa Salmald Sidi Miloud, points out that whoever observes the discourse and behavior of Moroccan diplomacy after November 13, 2020, and how Morocco suddenly became wrestling with adults, Germany, Spain, France, there is no doubt that he raised the question about what has changed in Morocco. The one who was blackmailing everyone and dealing with him as he wanted? Ostensibly, the analyst adds in a statement to Hess Press, nothing has changed except that Morocco, after decades of meekness and keeping pace with the international community in its endeavors to find a peaceful settlement of the Sahara conflict, respecting all its international obligations, took a bold decision to block the door from which the winds came from in Girat, after the Polisario's decision the crossing was closed to the detriment of its interests and its trading partners, in full view of the world. But in fact, the former detainee of the Polisario stresses that what happened on November 13, 2020, was much greater than the liberation of the crossing and the restoration of its normal activity, under which the whole of Morocco was liberated, as he put it. The same spokesman considered that Morocco has become for the first time since the pre-colonial period a state connected to the world after it remained isolated by the sea from the north and west, Algeria from the east and the buffer zone in the south, where the authority of the Moroccan state ends under the 1991 ceasefire agreement signed with the United Nations. Because of the Moroccan security operation in Girat, Mustafa Salmo adds, Morocco's borders have become connected to the Mauritanian borders and its African depth, and there is no longer any obstacle preventing it from linking the bridges of integration and its African neighbors with whom its relations have strengthened and strengthened in recent years. And the same analyst stated that Morocco's liberation from the siege that was imposed on it has liberated even the countries of the world in their dealings and dealing with its affairs. Morocco, because the Morocco after Girat is no longer what was before it, 